Experts say bullying online can be one of the most painful, pervasive, and harmful behaviors for kids. You can never really get away from it because even if you're even if you're not on the internet checking out what people are saying about you, other people are. Yet school social workers say they are unequipped to handle the problem. Temple University researchers report that counselors, administrative staff, and teachers have little training and information on cyberbullying, which could be a liability. And research from Penn State University shows when bullying is chronic or severe, part of the blame lies with teachers who either miss the signs or dismiss it as normal teasing. Teachers might go, okay, that's okay, we're joking, cut it out and move on. While cyberbullying usually starts outside of school, the bullying behavior can carry over to the classroom. There was a boy behind me who was kicking my seat and I was like, can you please stop? And he wouldn't like, please stop. He's like, no, whore, whore, whore. It was like kicking my seat and I would just start crying. She would walk down the halls in her school and kids would make these really disgusting gestures pretending to slit their wrists. Experts say schools need clear cyberbullying policies, coordinated communication about those policies, and ongoing in-service training and bullying education programs for teachers to help solve these kinds of problems. I'm Stacy DeWitt for Connect with Kids.